Hey everybody, it's Wes from Cross Armory, and I'm here to talk about our new Legion Slide Series. First things first, let you know that these are coming in three different colors. We're going to be black, gold, and silver, which we've currently sold out of again, but maybe we'll show those in a different video. For now, I'm gonna go over some of the key features of the slide series. So we did make this slide for the 17, 19, and 43, 43X. Uh, these are gonna work on your Glock Gen 3, your P80, and P80 80% build variants. They're also going to work on some of your Gen 4, and that is where we're going to start out. So starting with the slide, what we've got is it's made from 17.4 stainless steel. So a lot of other companies, I'm not gonna name names, some of the less expensive generic things you can buy out there are made from just carbon steel. These are stainless steel, which is exceptionally better and does cost us more, but we wanna make a better product, so there we are. Next thing that's important to note about this slide is the features that we put on it. We didn't just say, hey, let's make a slide that looks cool. I mean, we did say that, but we also said, let's make it work right first, then make sure it looks cool. So the cool features here are going to be these serrations on the front and the serrations on the back. So the reason these are better is because we've put a more aggressive angle on them, but we've also increased the depth of these cuts and we made them flat 90 degree cuts at the front edge, which means they give you a very strong grip on your hands and on your finger. So when you go to charge this slide, you can grip it really well, especially if you have sweaty hands, muddy hands, bloody hands, no! if you've got gloves on, you can really get a good grip on these. Another key feature to these serrations is up at the front. A lot of people like to do press checks. A lot of people like to just charge it from the front. One of our biggest complaints when we were researching slides was that these holes, these windows, now the windows are looking cool, but they also serve a purpose, were in the front and the serrations were in the back. The problem with that is you're getting way too close to your barrel. And if you've been shooting, your barrel does get hot. If you're coming in here and your hand slides, bam, bare hand, got a hot barrel, that's a tough thing to deal with. You'd rather not deal with that. And it's much easier to visually hook up to the front of your sight, come right near that and bring it back. So the location of the serrations is key. The next thing that's really important is on the front of this slide, you'll notice these serrations don't go all the way through to the bottom of the slide like they do in the back. And if you look at any other slide on the market, almost all of them, if they have front serrations, they go all the way down. You think, why'd they do that? Well, it's less expensive and easier to do. That's why they did it. But why did we stop short and then keep this line here? One simple reason, because the way we're shooting today is we're shooting with two hands and we've got our thumbs forward in a lot of instances. A lot of guys shoot thumbs up. A lot of guys tuck this thumb in. No matter how you do it, however you're shooting, when you're doing this shooting, sometimes if you're wearing a glove, especially, you're going to come in contact with your slide. And the last thing you want to do is when your slide is moving back, have your thumb come into contact with these serrations here. That's gonna create friction. It's gonna slow your slide down. That's gonna mess things up. So we kept this line right here so that if your thumb does come in contact, you're coming in contact with a smooth, clean surface. So as it moves back, if you're making some contact, you're not contacting these high friction points. Really key, especially if you're in competition or if you're actually shooting this when it matters, you wanna make sure that nothing is gonna impair the ability for your slide to go all the way back and all the way forward. Even if it's your thumb while you're in a preferred shooting position, maybe you picked it up on the quick and now you're not quite in the right spot and you end up resting near the slide. That is a very key feature and uh, I expect a lot of people might be copying us on that as soon as they see this. Next thing is obviously this is the Legion slide. So we went with the Roman numerals. So when you get your slide, it is gonna have these numerals and they're gonna match up with the frame pattern. So if you got a Glock 17, Glock 19, Glock 43, they're all different. 
and they all show what they are. For example, this is our 43, very similar, but it has the different numerals on there, the Roman numeral for 43. And another fun thing about these slides is we actually match them up with the barrels. So not only is the styling matching, but the numbers match. So you've got number matching slide and barrel to go along with it, which is uh, a nice touch from our crew over here. Uh, and the next thing to note is the windows, right? So the windows do look cool, especially if you spent a couple hundred bucks on a really cool barrel, maybe a gold barrel. Uh, you do get the ability to see the things through the windows. The windows also have a secondary function other than looking really cool, and that is to keep your barrel cool, right? So as this moves, as you're shooting, moving a little air, letting your barrel vent and keep the temperature down, especially if you're shooting a lot, you're shooting quickly, you're in competition, and uh, that is just an added feature. Uh, the secondary thing to note on this wonderful slide is the actual cuts on it and the windows reduce the weight. So you do have a lighter slide. So your carry weight as you're moving around is lighter. Uh, when you put your optic on it, we're gonna compensate for that. And then it almost balances out. It's slightly lighter than your standard. So you don't need to change out your recoil springs. I know a lot of guys are like, oh, you got a lighter slide, change your recoil springs. Well, if you put an optic on it, your optic weighs something. So you gotta think about that. And the next thing, very last thing we're gonna mention is optics. So our slides are set up for RMR cut on the 17 and the 19. What does that mean? RMR cut is the pattern of screws and cutout for your red dot optic. Now RMR cut and RMR was made by Trigicon. They came up with the name. Can't remember what RMR stands for. You could probably look it up though. So this is a Trigicon optic, fits great, but you're probably wondering, oh, will it work with my cool Holosun optic? Heck yeah, it will. Holosun's got an RMR. Pretty much everyone has established RMR as the go-to footprint for pistols and for these cutouts. So we have an RMR cutout. One additional thing that I think is very cool that you guys are going to hopefully very much appreciate, I know I do as a shooter, is when you're shooting with these, depending on what slide you've bought and whose it is, you have short screws, right? So the screw hole on the right and the screw hole on the left same depth. What we did at Cross Armory is we made the screw hole on the left deeper. So there are two factors to think about when we talk about this. The reason we did this is because as you shoot, whether you've got Loctite or not, some guys forget about the Loctite and then all of a sudden their optic starts jiggling around like this. But if you have a deeper screw hole here, that means you have a lot more threads, a lot more purchase. That's harder to mess up. So as you can see here, we have two screw sizes. The Holosun actually comes with two screw sizes, which is nice. And the reason this right side screw is the shorter one is because on that right side, what you've got is a little rod traveling through your slide here. And that rod exists in the back. So if we were to pop this open, what you're gonna see Oh, after we get your firing pin out, is right here. This is the push rod that actually push on your ejector. This rod travels through and comes through the slide right here, right along the path of this screw, which means the screw hole on the right side of your slide can only be so deep no matter what. But on the left side, take a look right there, there is nothing in there. So we have the ability to actually bring that hold all the way down to about here, which means you can run a deeper screw, which means a stronger set for your optic, which is really essential when you take your pistols and your shooting seriously. And an important feature on the inside that uh, we wanna note is this ramp right here. This is what's called your reset ramp. This is what resets your connector so that when your gun shoots, it passes this, the slide moves, it goes from here and then clicks in here and then goes back into place. And so what this does right here is it goes boop and it lives there. We adjusted the angles of this so this is a smoother reset. 
So it's smoother back and forth, which means less friction. That reset happens easier, better, and there's less hangups, especially if you're low on lube or you just didn't lube it for some reason, or if you've been in an area where you haven't had a chance to, it's getting a little tight. A lot of hangups happen because there's a lot of friction right here at this little bump. And so we solved that by editing this area. And finally, we took a tip from the John Wick edition of the Glock, which uh, I think you know is the 34. It's the long version. And we actually cut out a lot of material on the right side. Uh, well, this would be the left side as it's down. So on this side, where there's nothing to interact with, we cut out a lot of material here, so there's less friction. And when we reduce all that friction, that means it slides smoother and everything works better. So take a look at any other slides you've got. This is just a straight line across, whereas we've dipped in and cut this so that now you have way less friction. So working out all these things on the inside makes your slide function much better and it reduces all that friction, which creates for a cleaner motion, better action. That, my friends, is what we have done at Cross Armory for your Glock 17, 19, 43, 43X slides. Really hope you guys enjoy these. We've got some fun packaging on here. When you go ahead and check out the packaging, pop it open. It actually gives you some features of the slide, tells a little story on the back. And uh, we are really proud of these. These have been about three years in the making, lots of testing, quite a few different variations. And uh, we talked to a lot of industry professionals, gave them samples, had them tested out. They came back, we took their notes, and then we put it all into this slide, which uh, we really hope you enjoy. So that's it for slides. Uh, congratulations if you've already got one. And uh, we're looking forward to talking to you guys again soon. Stay safe out there. Happy hunting.